Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to make it possible for users to reset password on your Django website. I'm going to start from scratch by setting up a virtual environment and I'm going to build it piece by piece. So first I'm going to create a virtual environment by saying virtual env and then the name which is password example underscore env and then I can go into it and activate it by saying source bin activate and then it's activated as you can see here and we can install Django so pip install Django this will install the newest version of Django and also a few dependencies that Django has Django has perfect built-in functionality for resetting password and now I'm going to show you how you can use it so now we have installed Django and can create a simple project Django-admin start project password example and then I go into it so I'm in the root cd password example like that so now I have it open here as well and if I go into password example and urls just make this a little bit smaller and on top here I can say include because it's a function from Django urls I'm going to use and then above admin or below it doesn't really matter right now say path accounts and when you go to accounts I want to use urls that's inside include django.contrib.auth.urls and save so if I now go down here and say python manage.py run server and I can copy this address paste it here and hit enter you can see here now that we have a new URL accounts and if I go to it slash you will see that you have multiple new pages here these are all built in with Django so we can first begin with the login functionality because you need to make a possible to login so we can test that the reset password is working so in the root folder I create a new folder templates and inside there a new folder called registration Django knows that templates you put in this folder will override the built-in templates that already is there so in here create a new file login.html and first I say h1 login on the line below I can check if the user is logged in already if request.user.is authenticated then I just want to show a message saying that you're logged in and a button so you can log out a href url logout this functionality comes from Django so you can see if you go back to the browser it will just refer to this one and log out but if you are not authenticated I want to show a very simple login form form method post add the CSRF token because do you have to have this for post forms then we render the form by saying form.sp and below there a simple submit button button type submit log in and if and save and then I can go to the settings file because I need to change a few things first I want to tell Django to look for this template folder and the root folder so inside this dir list I just add base dir slash templates just like that and save so now it will find the registration folder inside the templates folder there perfect and I want to set two more variables here login redirect URL this is the page you are redirected to when you log in it can just be a login so you go back to the same screen so we can see this instead and when you log out log out redirect URL equals login so you go back to the same page then and there's also one more thing I want to set and that is email backend 
because this requires email functionality but we can just have a test here for now so we can see that everything is working so the email backend I want to use is django.core.mail.backends.filebased.email backend it's a very cool functionality from Django email file path equals base there slash emails emails so this will generate a folder in the root and put all of the emails there instead of actually sending them so now that should be working but I can stop this server and initialize the database python manage migrate and I can create a super admin so we can test this so python manage py create super user the username can be admin admin at example.com and then a simple password and hit enter okay and then we can run the test server python manage py run server and if i now refresh just go to login you will see the page we created i can try to log in with the super admin user and now it says you're logged in instead of the showing the form log out and it's showing the form again so then it's time to create the forgot password form so inside this folder create a new file password reset form.html this is override the built-in template from Django h1 forgot your password just have a simple title p enter your email address below and then form form method post add a csrf token form.sp and the button button type submit send and save and then I want to create one more template which you which you will be redirected to back when you have submitted this form. So create one more file, password reset done.html. Here we can just say h1, thank you. And the simple text, you should receive the email shortly. And save. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. So if I now go back here, you can see I have to go, go to password reset, put out the space, and you see this form, which is this one we just created. So if I here now say so admin at example.com, click send. So thank you, you should receive an email shortly. Perfect. And now here's a new folder that Django has created. And this is the email that would be sent to this address, but we don't have an SMTP server right now, so we'll just see the file here. And if I go to this address now, you'll see this is the built-in form from Django, but we want to use our own. And here I also get a little reminder that the username you used is admin. Perfect. So now I want to create this form for ourselves. So create a new file. Password reset confirm.html. So first we want to check if this is a valid link to click. So if valid link, this is built in from Django h1 h1 set new password and then I can copy the form because it's similar like that and if it's not valid we say else p the validation link is not valid now we can just close the and if like this and save so if I now refresh, you'll see this instead. Perfect. So now this should be working, but I want to create a simple template you will be redirected to when you have done this. 
So create one more file. Save it as password reset complete dot html h1 password reset complete and you can now log in here and I will show a link ahrf URL login log in like that save and if I now refresh, you can try to create a new password. Password reset complete. And if I click login, admin, and then I change it, I log in with the password I reset to. Perfect. And that was it for this tutorial. It was a little bit short, but I still hope you learned something. If you want more content like this, please click like below and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. See you in the next video.